Good evening. In burned out homes and cars and indeed anywhere where bodies have been found, the narrow margin between life and death in the Greek wildfires has become starkly clear today. Such as the speed of the advancing flames that a wrong turn here or a delay there left dozens of people trapped by them. Today, the number of dead rose above 80. With many people missing, that figure could yet rise. The Greek government is now saying 15 fires broke out near Athens around the same time on Monday, raising the possibility of arson. It is a picturesque and largely unspoiled piece of coastline, a favourite among Athenians who can afford a place out of town. But on Monday night, the cliffs beneath these holiday homes turned into a death trap. As 60, 70 mile an hour winds drove the flames towards these houses, dozens of people ran ahead of them, searching desperately for an escape route. This house was owned by Christiana Frangu, who we found today still deep in despair at what she had lost and how little she'd been able to do to save others. Everything and my dogs and my cats that I couldn't save and the other people that I couldn't save. Really? But what can I say? Big sign that this is the way to the, to the rocks. Come and save yourself. She had led one group of 13 to safety, but as she did so, another group of 26, including many children, had arrived and didn't find the only way down the cliffs. These are the steps down which Christiana was able to lead some of those lucky ones. You can still see their clothes abandoned here uh, on the rocks below. But look at this cliff face. If you didn't know what was here in the smoke and the dark and in the terror of what was behind you, it was no surprise that most of the people simply had no escape. From the air, it is easy to see how hopeless escape had become. The entire hillside was a sea of flame. All that those flames left behind were a few items from those who were lost. These dramatic still pictures show that even for those who made it to the sea, safety was not assured. It was very windy, they were amid rocks, and rescue boats struggled to reach them. The smoke, too, remained potentially deadly, but at least they were away from the flames. Across Greece, flags are flying today at half-mast for the dead, a total that, with the discovery of more bodies in the ruins, has now crept into the 80s. Among those now tragically confirmed dead is Irishman Brian O'Callaghan Westrop, who died while fleeing his car in the town of Matty just four days after his wedding. His bride, Zoe Hollihan, is recovering in hospital from burns. Rescue workers continued to go from house to house, sometimes finding casualties in homes that appear to have been untouched by the flames. But the principal focus now is on the living, the survivors. Many in hospital now without homes, with family members missing, and they are entirely reliant on the goodwill of strangers for even the basics of life. James Mates News at 10 in the town of Matty, near Athens.